Hey guys, it's Katie. So, I know I'm kind of like a month behind on my updates, but that's because I'm a month behind on my progress. Um, if you didn't read the title, today's video is about my temperature blanket. I'm going to be showing you guys my temperature blanket so far for the month of January, because that's all I have completed. I'm in the middle of doing February. Um, I just don't have a lot of time to sit down and crochet. I said I was going to like keep up with this every week, but course that's not what happens um so these updates will probably be a month late but we're trying we're trying to get back on track but I did complete my um January section of my temperature blanket so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like so um I'm doing a granny square um if you guys didn't see my 2018 announcement I was I said I was gonna do a giant granny square but Things have changed a little bit, so I'm going to tell you guys about that. But um, first, I'm going to show you what my temperature blanket looks like. So, this is how wide it is. This is how wide my January um, block ended up being. This is what it looks like. I think it looks really nice. I just love the way granny squares look. Um, but yeah, this is 31 rounds of a granny square because there's 31 days in January. Um, but yeah, I'm doing a purple theme, so it looks like this. I, I just, I love the way it turned out. I think it's so cute. But, um, as you can see, just one month is pretty long. Like, this is probably a good, like, two, three feet, maybe like a yard. Um, this is, this is big. This is pretty big. So, um, I was going to just make a granny square and just continue in a spiral around and around for 12 months. But I, I don't think that's a good idea. I think that's going to end up making this too big so what I decided to do instead is I'm gonna make each month a block so like this is this is one block here and I'm going to like connect the blocks so I'm gonna make a block for each month and I'm going to connect the blocks so I'm gonna do like a three by four so it'll be like January February March and then on the bottom will be April May June and so on and so forth that way it'll end up being just a giant blanket with connected blocks. It still might be too big. We'll see how it goes. Um, might just be another giant blanket like my last one because I am doing double crochets with this. So, I mean, that's how a granny square is made. So it is pretty, pretty massive. Um, had a lot of cold weather in January. Um, also in February. It's beginning slightly warmer now that it's March, but we, it like, it got up to like 60 degrees and it was nice and then we had a giant snowstorm so who knows what's going on with that um I'm just ready for spring uh but yeah I think this is gonna be a fun temperature blanket it's definitely different since I'm using all purples and then some whites and grays but from all the white you can see how cold it's been because white is my coldest color uh but yeah that is what I've been working on um I'll go ahead and show you guys my February square that I have kind of halfway completed Ooh. This is where I am on my February square. As you can see, I still have to tie in those ends there. Um, but this is what it looks like so far. I like that it had um, kind of like different colors in the center here and then like white kind of border. I think it turned out nice. Um, what I'm going to do since like I need them, I need all the squares to match up. And since February only has 28 days and like some days, some months only have 30 days. I'm going to add like a black border around so for like February I'm going to add three rows of black around that way it lines up when I try to connect it to the other months um, just because black's not a color I have in here I think that'll work or I could always do like um, maybe like double yarn or get some, maybe I should find some like purple variegated yarn and do that I don't know I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet but I just know that they're not going to connect well because they don't have the proper number so we'll see what we're going to do with that but um you guys will probably see my February block next month because I just haven't gotten around to finishing it because I've been a busy little bee as you can tell because I haven't uploaded in like two weeks I was also sick for a while so that didn't help but I'm getting back onto this game I don't know if you're going to see this video first or if you're going to see my bullet journal video first but I did film a bullet journal for this month and I also have another kind of clay tutorial coming up so I'm excited about that um, so keep a lookout for those videos guys I'm really trying here um, I have a lot of good ideas for videos to come so I'm really excited to try and do that but you know 
I have to get some money first because broke life is a thing. But once I get some cash, I plan to make some videos for you guys that are a little bit different, a little bit more fun. I want to do like a lot of like trendy kind of DIYs that are coming out because there's a lot of cool stuff that I've been seeing and I'm like, I can make that and you guys should know how to make that too. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to like work with what I already have at home because I have so much craft supplies, so many craft supplies. I want to do some more jewelry tutorials because I feel like I haven't done one of those in a while. But yeah, um, definitely will be more tutorials to come. But that is my update for my lovely temperature blanket. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, leave some comments down below if you guys are also doing a temperature blanket again this year. I have a lot of fun doing these, and it's really interesting to see other people's designs. So, be sure to tag me on Instagram if you guys post pictures, because I would love to see what you guys are working on as well, because it's really exciting to see what temperature blankets are being made around the world. And if you guys enjoy my videos, go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you guys can see my lovely face in your subscription box. Um, but anyway, that is all for this video, so I will see you guys in my next one. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday and sometimes Mondays, but sometimes I'm a failure, so don't hate me. Bye! <laughs>